There have been some updates to the just insane allegation situation, and as the guy that's been talking about it so openly and freely here on his platform, I thought that I should come on and do the update video. And I'll tell you, things are getting pretty weird out there. Hey, how's it going? My name is Dan Frampton. Thank you so much for kicking back with me here today. And right now we got to do something a little bit more serious. I got to put all the bravado on the back burner. I got to say, hey, ruthless gatekeeper, maybe another day, okay? Because Justin Sane is out there being a creep, being a loser, and now trying to evade the law, okay? So like the video, subscribe if it's your first time here, join the channel to become a member of the Secret Society, and let's just dive into this thing right now. Now, I thought that I would just pull up the article and kind of read from it a little bit because the journalism has been done by journalists out there and this is a very sensitive topic and I want to make sure I get the wording uh, the way that it actually is written across here, okay? This comes to us from Rolling Stone, but I got to pay Rolling Stone to get it, so I'm going to be aggregating this story from an aggregator, so take from that what you will. So we're going to go through this article here on exclaim.ca, an article written by Cal Callum Singerland that came out yesterday, March 21st, 2024. If you're not familiar with this topic, I have a couple in-depth videos about it, but basically what happened was last year, Christina Cerati alleged on a podcast that she was abused by somebody in the punk rock community. There was no names named, but given the details in the story and everything surrounding it, it was very clear that it was just insane from the band Anti-Flag that she was talking about. And the moment that the podcast dropped and this information came out, the band stopped touring, the band got off the road, the band disbanded basically, they erased all their social medias, and just basically looked as guilty as possible. And then, yes, it was confirmed that it was just insane that she was talking about, and then Rolling Stone came out with this very well done, in-depth article where they also got testimonials and stories from other victims of the same person. And that brings us to these developments over here. Let's just jump in. A woman who filed an essay lawsuit against former anti-flag vocalist guitarist Justin Sane last November claims the musician is planning to flee the United States to Europe this week. What? <laughs> now we're talking about fleeing the country? Just insane. That is craziness. I guess there is a reason why they call you just insane. As Rolling Stone reports, Christina Cerati alleges that Sane, born Justin Griever, has purposely and unlawfully attempted to avoid service of her SA lawsuit filed in November. Isn't that like super illegal? If you're getting served papers, if someone's out there serving you with a lawsuit, isn't it illegal to be like, uh-uh, not taking that, mm -mm, no way, you can't give me those papers. If I don't take them, that means they don't exist. That's not something you can do, Justin Sane. What are you talking about? Let's dive back into this article. In a statement regarding her amended complaint published earlier this week, Cerati claims that Griever has persistently tried to avoid service of her lawsuit and has enlisted the help of his large and wealthy family in making arrangements to flee the country this week. He has people out there helping him cover these tracks. That is disgusting. We have monsters helping monsters. There is really truly evil out there in this world. This is disgusting. I could be talking about any number of monsters out there right now. The Vince McMahons of the world, the Dan Schneiders of the world. But right now, this is a crazy development in this story. Uh-uh, you can't give me those papers. I'm gonna go somewhere else really quick. What do you mean? It is also alleged that Griever has sold his home in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and has completed a wire transfer of his assets to a bank in Ireland where he maintains a dual citizenship. That is nuts. Furthermore, Christina claims that the singer's family members have rallied to assist his exit strategy and his sister Mary, a practicing lawyer, has been granted power of attorney in his absence. That is some freaky evil stuff, dog. Not enjoying the way that that sounds, not whatsoever. But you know that, like, Ireland is still on the planet, right? You might be trying to avoid the legal system in one country, but once you go to another country, there's a whole other process that can happen. You can be extradited or whatever, but you're out here doing a whole, like, Andrew Tate thing. Just insane! What are you doing? The former bandmates then issued a statement about the allegations, expressing to the singer, Fuck you for hurting so many people. Yeah, and that rang so hollow. 
Cerati claims that guitarist Chris Head, drummer Pat Thetic, and bassist Chris Barker have remained silent while isolating themselves from Griever by buying him out of their distribution company or whatever. Despite anti-flag's celebrated history of activism in support of women's safety and their decades preaching silence is violence, we now know that the band was approached about Griever's predatory behavior at least 25 years ago and did nothing to stop him, Cerati writes. They chose their business prospects over the welfare of their fans. For decades, these men financially and socially benefited from Griever's predation while pretending not to see it. Cerati also alleges that Anti-Flag sought to coax my forgiveness through a restorative justice process, only for those talks to end early 2024, writing, To date, no member of Anti-Flag has owned up to their actions or apologized for failing their duty to reasonably protect the fans and community. I have no idea why I'm acting surprised. This guy is clearly a coward. Of course his knee-jerk reaction is to run away and do everything that he can to run away successfully. And his dual citizenship? That is insane. And a lawyer for his sister? He has everything in order in order to make this a successful getaway. And you know, bad people do bad things and he's just out here doing another bad thing. Of course he's gonna be running away. There have been bands that pissed all over their legacy, and then there's anti-flag. I'm gonna get out of here, everybody. Stay humble, work hard, be ruthless.